as you can see there's a few people boating today but I just really wanted to send the condolences across to the people of Norway that's an unbelievable thing, like I've been around for a while I don't really, I can't imagine what it feels like for the families 76 people shot dead, the cops take that long to get there uh, you can only imagine what horror it be I really don't know whether they could he could have been responsible for that and the bombing but who does know that All I know is that I've never heard of anything quite like that. So all I really do is just hope that we can find a solution to this. Because as you know on some of my other videos I talk about love and spiritual things and everything. When something like this happens it really is hard to know what to do. Like I certainly wouldn't blame anyone who wanted to cut him up into little pieces and get rid of the guy forever. But really I still feel that isn't the way to go. I don't have a solution but I'd say the uh, two wrongs don't actually make a right. And if we're it just does bring badness into the world. I still think that the answer has got to be in love. But if only our governments and the people could come together and we could work on the system of love. Which, you know, and I don't mean that in a sooky way like uh, the others. Sookie's good, but more like, you know, like I love riding the motorbike. Uh, most I hate going to work when I did used to go to work. And most I, a lot of people are like that. But if we could make it possible to do more loving, or stuff that we do to be loving, maybe it could stop this. Now, I hate, as I said earlier, I'm a sort of a Christian. I am a Christian, though, but I say not exactly mainstream. Uh, and it is a shame that you've got, he's supposedly a, some sort of fundamental Christian. Now how can you be if you're going to go and kill people? I don't care what you say, there's no room for that. And I say he's against the Muslims. Well the same thing again uh, to be a proper Muslim I'm sure you really can't go out and kill any people there's something seriously wrong with that I don't think God tells us to go and kill people anyway my God's a God of love so what can we say and what can we do not a lot but I do believe it's our vibes that will change the everything that all together we'll put in and we make the world if we're going to make it that uh, religion kills people or believe all this horror and think the only thing to do is go out and kill a load of innocent people then I suppose that's going to happen How can, you know, how can you say anything to do with God if you, it certainly isn't. And it certainly isn't any good calling the Muslims bad. 
obviously we all need a place we should try to love them, try to love ourselves and we might stand a chance of getting on but I have a bit of a wandering mind on, on this one because I don't you know, it's quite a shock to the system to see something like that then you got in America at the moment there's business where they're trying to sink the whole currency not that I can say I understand anything about that because uh, I don't but they seem to be convinced that it's uh, not a good thing to happen if they think it's not a good thing to happen well I'm sure it isn't and uh, but how can you do that? I mean to say it is about time that the ordinary people did get their minds together and not join this group or that group this particular party like I've never been one of any I'm a swing voter I try my best to think about it and feel which way is the right way to go but I'm not sure I get it right because you're really getting the choice of two evils but the answer isn't to go out and kill people and you know I really doesn't know what possesses a human being to do that like it's not even that it was a climb of passion which you can most probably understand a little bit more but what can you do? all I can say is that I really do I'm forgetting about all that and forgetting about religion and everything I just do feel sorry for them mothers and fathers and we are having a pretty lousy time lately with all these things happening but all I can hope is that if you are thinking of doing anything like that change your mind buy yourself a motorbike go for a ride that's what we really need to do is try and find something that makes us happy and do that because we no one's going to give it to us we have to find it ourselves and quite often we're bored and unhappy and feel everyone else has got something more than we have but uh, it, you can have as like they say you can have as much as you like and it's not going to fill that hole up inside of you but like I said one of the other videos that I'd prefer to have lots and be unhappy than to have nothing and be unhappy and there are plenty of people who actually have got nothing and have to be unhappy so I really hope that we and by being making ourselves happy it does knock on to the next people but at the moment it's not very easy and I can understand the people the parents, the friends partners and I really wish even their government, I don't feel sorry for governments very often but uh, no, I feel sorry for the whole of them so all I can say is that I hope that you really survive this I hope you can find a way that it doesn't happen again and I hope that us people can send you some goodness across the ether to help you a bit so I think we'd better call that it for now but I really can't uh, can't say enough how much I wish you well.